after building a frigate for the Philippines, HHI also built two FFX-2 final frigates for Roken. In addition to building frigates for the Philippines, the South Korean shipbuilding company Hyundai Heavy Industries HHI, has been awarded the 633.5 billion Korean won, 563 million United States dollars contract for the construction of Daegu FFX-2 last two guided missile for The Republic of Korea Navy, Roken. The company announced on December 13, construction of the 122M Long Frigate, which is now the 7th and 8th grade for services, will begin in the second half of 2020. With shipments to Roken expected to take place in 2023, according to HHI. The announcement came about a month after the South Korean shipbuilder Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering DSME, announced that it had obtained a 631.5 billion Korean won contract to build the 5th and 6th frigates of the class. The first class Daegu contract award, with Pennant 818, was handed over to Roken on February 1 during a ceremony held at the Okpo DSME shipyard on Geoye Island. The FFX-2 class is a bigger variant of the six South Korean Incheon FFXI class vessels, which first entered service in 2013. The FFX-2 class has a total emission of 14 meters, a standard displacement of 2,800 tons, and full capacity displacement of 3,650 tons. Each class vessel is powered by a Rolls-Royce MT-30 gas turbine engine and two Leonardo DRS permanent magnet motors driven by MTU 12 volts 4000 diesel generators and a combined diesel electric or gas. CODLOG configuration. Each ship can reach a maximum speed of 30 knots. The FFX-2 class is armed with one nuclear weapon 127mm MK45 Mod 4 on a 20-barrel 20-barrel phalanx close-in weapon system installed at the top of the superstructure at the rear. It is also equipped with a Korea 16-cell vertical launch system for surface-to-air missiles and anti-submarine rockets. Source, James Matapos ang pagdatayo ng frigate para sa Pilipinas, nagtayo rin ng HHI ng dalawang FFX-2 final frigates para sa Roken, bukod sa pagbuo ng frigates para sa Pilipinas. Ang South Korean shipbuilding company Hyundai Heavy Industries HHI, ay iginawad ng kontrata ng 633 Korean 1 and 50 Jun para sa pagtatayo ng Daegu FFX-2 noong nakaraang dalawang guided missile para sa Republika ng Korea Navy broken. 
Ang kumpanya ay nag-anunsyo noong ikalabintatlo ng Disyembre, ang konstruksyon ng 122 metro long free gulp na ngayon ang ikapitong at ikawalo grado para sa mga serbisyo ay magsisimula sa ikalawang kalahati ng 2020. na may mga pagpapadala sa Rokan inaasahan na magganap sa 2023, ayon sa HHI. Ang anunsyo ay dumating tungkol sa isang buwan matapos ang inihayag ng Daewoo Shipbuilding at Marine Engineering DSME, ng South Korean Shipbuilder na nakakuha ito ng isang 631 Korean won and 50 Jin billion na kontrata. Upang itayo ang ikalimang at ikaanim na frigates ng klase. Ang unang kontrata ng kontrata ng Dago, na may penalt 818, ay ipinasa sa Roken noong ikauna ng Pebrero sa isang seremonya na gaganapin sa yarda ng Ape DSME sa Jehe Island. Ang klase ng FFX2 ay isang mas malaking variant ng anim na sasakyang dagat ng South Korean Incheon FFX ay na unang pumasok sa serbisyo noong 2013. Ang klase ng FFX2 ay may kabuang paglabas ng labing apat na metro, isang karaniwang pag-aalis ng 2,800 tonelada, at buong kapasidad na pag-aalis ng 3,650 tonelada. Ang bawat klase ng daluyan ay pinatatakbo ng isang Rolls-Royce MT-30 gas turbine engine at dalawang Leonardo DRS permanent magnet na motors na hinimok ng MTU 12 volts 4,000 diesel generator sa isang. Pinagsama-samang diesel, electric o gas, CODLOG, configuration. Ang bawat barko ay maaaring umabot sa pinakamataas na bilis ng 30 knots. Ang klase ng FFX2 ay armado ng isang nuclear weapon na 127 mm MK-45 mod-4 at isang 20 barrel, 20 barrel full lengths na malapit sa sistema ng sandata na naka-install sa tuktok ng superstructure sa likuran. Nilagyan din ito ng isang Korean labing anim na cell vertical launch system para sa mga air-to-air -air missiles at anti-submarine rockets pinagmulan, James. Thank you for watching and hearing the latest military news. Keep up to date with the latest military news on the Update Defense channel. Hope you enjoy it.